3% sales tax November 2nd, and county commissioners okayed the tax today. The extra tax revenue will pay for all criminal justice, police, sheriff, and prosecution. The increase will start January 1st, bringing Yakima sales tax up to 8.2%. Departments see the money until July, or I should say June of 2005. It's expected to generate more than $6 million for the county. From the Northwest tonight, 14-year-old Jordan Castillo making his first appearance in a Benton County court today now knows his pretrial court dates. He's charged with first-degree murder and the stabbing death of Coach Bob Mars. If convicted, Castillo will face anywhere from 22 to 28 years in prison. His trial is scheduled to begin on January 10th. Major Washington car accident leaves one person dead and several others injured. The 17-year-old female victim lost control of her car while attempting to pass another vehicle. She crossed the median into the southbound lanes and was hit by two minivans, one carrying seven people and the other carrying four. The cars were then clipped by a fourth vehicle. News from across America tonight, four panels of the AIDS Memorial Quilt are on display in New York on this 7th should say 17th annual World AIDS Day. The memorial quilt is billed as the largest ongoing community arts project in the world. Each of the more than 44,000 colorful panels that make up the quilt memorializes the life of a person lost to AIDS. News from around the world, the U.S. is expanding the level of troops in Iraq to its highest level since the war began. Military personnel hope to use the 12,000 troops to bolster security ahead of the January elections. The move would increase the size of American forces in Iraq from 138,000 to about 150,000. Gunfire erupts outside of Haiti's presidential palace today during a visit from U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell. U.N. peacekeepers in charge of the palace's security later told reporters supporters of ousted President Jean-Bertrand Aristide had fired at the palace from a single passing car. No one injured and is still unclear if any of the bullets fired hit the presidential palace. The massive opposition rally that has paralyzed Kiev has entered its 11th day. Presidential hopeful, uh, hopeful Viktor Yushchenko and his supporters celebrated with a massive fireworks display late Wednesday evening. Earlier in the day, Yushchenko agreed to end the opposition blockades of several government offices that have kept Kiev paralyzed for more than a week. At the same time, he rejected an offer to hold an entirely new election. For local news tonight, a local success story is back in town. Daniel Garza is from Toppenish, and now he's the associate director for the Office of Public Liaison at the White House. Garza spoke at the Literacy Hope Luncheon today. The luncheon celebrates the Head Start and Epic programs. Garza was a Head Start student in Toppenish and says the experience has helped him throughout his career. Thanks, Andrew. We're talking about, again, some fog out there tonight. Otherwise, no shower activity here. Frosty temperatures, however. Checking out our satellites in motion, you can see how we're between storms right now. There's another one way off the coast, another one way over in Montana. But for us, there's just fair skies and patchy fog overnight tonight. And current readings are falling back through the lower 30s and into the 20s on our way down to low 20s and some upper teens around the region. We should bottom out at 21 in town, 20 for Ellensburg. Some of those uh, temperatures in the teens are going to occur up in the Kittitas Valley and the north central basin. I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes with a full seven-day outlook. But it's time now for your leadoff sports with Rick Aaron. Thank you, Tim. Leading off tonight, incredible basketball games on both sides of the state. We start in Seattle. The Sonics run overtime against the Jazz. Rashard Lewis steals the ball, and he knows what to do with it. He throws down two of his 23, and later Ray Allen drains three of his 38 as Seattle beats Utah 129-119. We quickly drive I-90 to Spokane, where Gonzaga's Adam Morrison drives the baseline for a two-handed jam. Morrison scored 26 as the Zags beat Washington 99-87, their seventh straight victory over the Huskies. Stick around, because coming up in sports, I'll have more on both games, plus an incredible death-defying jump out of a mountain gondola. Andrew, I know you're going to see that. For now, back to you in the studio. Rick, looking forward to that one. Coming up in People News, Tom Hanks has captured the lead role in the film adaptation of Dan Brown's best-selling book, The Da Vinci Code. Sony Pictures announced today Hanks will play the role of Robert Langdon, a symbologist trying to solve a complex murder. Ron Howard will direct the film, which is scheduled for release in 2006. That'll be a good one. Still ahead, goodbye to a broadcasting legend, an in-depth look 
at Tom Brokaw's final sign-off. That wraps up 11 minutes of nonstop news. Your fast alert weather and lead-off sports at 11 o'clock. This is KNDO Local News 11 at 11 tonight. Closed captioning is brought to you by Central Washington University. Your future is central. Hello, I'm Rick Aaron from KNDO Local News. The holidays are here again, and KNDO is proud to support the Marine Corps Reserve and our local Toys for Tots program. Our community rallied last year when this program was in need. Now we need to come together again. Take your new unwrapped toy to any Toys for Tots drop-off location by December 16th. If you are in need of a toy for your child, please call 930-4182. Honestly, my brothers and my little sister would rather um, buy gifts for each other than to get something for themselves. Our favorite part is when we get to go shopping together and each kid is able to buy a present for everyone else. And we couldn't do that if it weren't for Walmart. You know, our house is small, but they say love grows best in little houses. Family Food Drive, presented by Treetop, is this Saturday in the KNDO Studios parking lot, and you won't want to miss out on the fun. Bring your food, toys, and coats to KNDO between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., and we'll help make sure our neighbors in need are taken care of this winter. Plus, thanks to Ready Money, Santa will be there to take pictures with the kids for free. Or if you can't quite make it here, you can stop by Tom Dental Ford Country in Sunnyside and Prosser to donate your food. They'll make sure it gets here on Saturday. We'll see you Saturday. A portion of the news is brought to you by Taco Bell. Live from the KMDO Night Team, this is KMDO Local News 11 at 11. After 21 years at the anchor desk, Tom Brokaw says goodbye as anchor of Nightly News. NBC correspondent Michelle Franzen with more tonight. My richest reward. With these simple words... I have news for this Wednesday night. I'm Tom Brokaw. You'll see Brian Williams here tomorrow night, and I'll see you along the way. Tom Brokaw stepped down from the anchor desk at Nightly News. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. The 64-year-old who spent more than two decades at the helm of Nightly News thanked his co-workers and America for giving him the opportunity of a lifetime. And it is the massacre that I say thanks. For all that I have learned from you, that's been my richest reward. <laughs> Roll call left the studio. It's all yours, kid. <laughs> offering a handshake and a nod to his successor, Brian Williams. <laughs> and to the staffers, Roll call said a new era is about to begin. It's your place now. Uh, as it always has been. Brokaw has signed off, but he is not saying goodbye to news. And with that, one last time, Tom, back to you. While Brian Williams takes over as anchor, Brokaw will continue to cover politics for NBC News and work on documentaries. <laughs> Michelle Franzen, NBC News, New York. Brian Williams takes over the anchor desk beginning tomorrow night here on NBC. Your local Fast Alert forecast up next with Tim Adams. And remember, you can check the forecast anytime by calling the KNDO 24-hour Fast Alert forecast line. There's a number 
225-2388. Whatever you see, it will be chilly overnight. Here's a look at today's highs and lows. Wow, 25 overnight for Yakima. You're watching KDO Local News, 11 at 11 tonight. Thanks for watching KNDO Local News. You can get local news anytime on the Digital Local News Channel. KNDO Digital 23.2. Log on to KNDO.com for more information. We're going to make accounts payable exciting again. That's what we need to do, people. In the time it takes to clean out your desk, you could save hundreds on car insurance. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Essential vitamins and minerals, but it won't save you money on car insurance. Oh, okay. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Why haven't you called Geico? Morning, Jack. Morning, Barbara. Good holiday spirit. Oh, morning, Jack. Good holiday spirit. Good holiday spirit. Good holiday spirit. Huh? 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 Too much holiday spirit, though. Get a free reindeer ball with any large combo at Jack in the Box. It's just the right amount of holiday spirit.